everybody, welcome back to the Shadowcasters Network presents Misspent Youth. Boop. This is the RPG where, uh, let me get this right, Teenage Rebellion in a fucked up future. And our fucked up future is where a organization called the Unity of All, a sort of religious based uh, state, has taken over the world and they keep a tight rein on the populace by suppressing progress uh, and, and making sure that their utopia thrives by using things like mandatory church attendance, tithing, uh, mandatory tithes, confession, where you either confess somebody else's sins or your own, and that you need to keep your pure ID up past a certain level or you get a plague delivered upon you. Well, our youthful offenders have all somehow got the plague and now they are rebelling against the system. We're gonna start out the first round of play. Play play unfolds in, in sessions, and each session has seven different scenes in it. The first scene uh, is going to take place now, and each scene, a different uh, uh, youthful offender, in this case, Oz, is going to take the first scene, and he is going to, actually, no, no, I'm sorry, we back up. Uh, before the scenes happen, uh, the, the session, we need to create friendship questions uh, and also authority figures. So an authority figure is essentially something that uh, the authority uses to do the oppressing. Um, it's not a system, but it's like an actual character or something that can be interacted with. Um, so for example, in Star Wars, Darth Vader would be an authority figure. So right now I'm gonna ask, uh, starting with Oz, you need to create an authority figure for this session. Hmm. Um, let's go with... Let's go with, like, just... Parents. General parents, right? Like, our families... Uh, how our families mm. are... are, are currently uh viewing us i guess is, does that make is that a good one no, no, that's that perfect like... that's perfect the the authority figures are temporary um temporary bad guys right like they can be addressed within um within a session um the the other things like the systems of control they can't go away unless you actually win one of the sessions so yeah parents uh coming in and mucking with your stuff is a great one um Let's see, who's next? How about Katie? You're gonna choose a, um, an authority figure. An authority figure. Um, I'm kind of imagining for like this kind of world, they kind of have like their own unity police. So people that are doing the door checks to making sure that you're coming to, to church. So unity police. Unity police. Yeah. Is there a cooler well, name? Let's, um, like, they're not. They're not going to want to call them police, right? They're gonna no. Call they're them. not going to. They want to give them something happy. What about deacons, right? Oh, yes. deacons are the deacons. Exact same thing. The deacons. Yeah. The deacons. They're the guys who are supposed to serve, right? And Gross. maybe they serve by uh, <laughs> by making sure that everybody is is coming to church. That's cool. I like that one. Um. Next up, let's see, Cliff. I'm going to go with the specific pastor, a very charismatic one, <laughs> knows all of us personally, Ah, um, has, has basically watched us grow up and has seen in us, those of us that were intentionally inflicted, seen in us the seeds of danger and rebellion and has worked uh, from before we even realized it ourselves when we were still very young has worked to sort of set us up to fail oh. at different things and do, to discourage us. Do you guys us. realize this? Or do you kind of still trust him a little bit? I, think that I, I totally trust him. 100%. Um, Why would he betray us? I totally <laughs> don't. I, I think he betrayed us. I he's think. Okay, so you kind of have an inkling. But, <laughs> he's, but he's, always, he's always been cool, right? <laughs> but but reality is he's been he's been setting you up. And he's a very, very powerful political and public and social figure. Who What's his can, name? Let's see. Um, he's an alien. <laughs> <laughs> like, I believe that he has been taken it. over by alien uh, 
brainwave attack. He's being mind controlled, right? Um, okay, so what's his but, name? Uh, is he a is he a pastor or a reverend or a priest? We'll go with a pastor because it sounds a bit more uh, intimate and familiar, uh huh, and friendly. Um, pastor Robinson. Pastor Robinson. All right. Yes, oh, these he, are so these are so gross because I feel like without the superpowers, this stuff could totally happen. Um, yeah. <laughs> Pastor Robinson yeah. is like he's on the broadcasts frequently. He's one of the well-known, famous ones. He's just very powerful, and he is our enemy since before we even realized it. Okay, I like that. And uh, Cassie, um, I am gonna go with um, the nurse that's in charge of the floor that we've gotten put. It, in the ward that we've uh, been, a, that we're now a part of, the plague nurse. Ah, so the, pla- so the plague, yeah. yeah the thing, so. so when you guys didn't die, right? You you were stuck in this in this particular wing of the hospital where they don't know what to do with people like you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, and, and she's the nurse. Okay. What's her name? Um. Give her like uh, a very holy sounding. Angelica, kind Ooh, of like a very Angelica. pure name. Ooh, that's so gross. I like that. <laughs> yeah, let's do it in, in Angelica. Angelica Blanche. Oh, so Lord. kind of like uh, Salem Witch, kind of. Yeah. One of the do good, uh, goody, uh, goody wives, right? <laughs> goody Blanche. Yeah, Goody Blanche. <laughs> All right. There's Angelica goody. Blanche. Goody, Goody Blanche. Yep. Goody reminds me of uh, like the Scarlet Letter and stuff like that, like the way they mm-hmm. call all the all the pious women Goody. Um, That's what we'll call her. That's just like her name is Angelica Blanche, but everybody refers to her as Nurse Angela or Goody Blanche. Oh, <laughs> all right. Uh, and then so here's here's one of the more innovative parts of Misspent Youth because this is a game that is ultimately not about fighting the authority, but it's really ultimately about friendship right like having the the final say in in people's stories so you guys are going to come up with friendship questions for each other so oz you are going to um let me see if i have the order right it goes oz and then who's next oz on your screen uh it goes for me oz then katie then cliff then Cliff, Cliff, cassie right yeah okay so oz you are going to ask katie a question katie you're going to ask cliff Cliff, you're going to ask Cassie. Cassie's going to ask Oz. And these these questions are going to be uh, friendship questions. They're going to have to do with your friendship with that person. Um, and they can be uh, either things that are known or unknown, um, but they have to be about your friendship. They can't be yes or no questions, and they have to have already happened, right? About All something right. that has kind of gone on in the past. Yeah, this one's easy for me. Why should I believe you? Ugh. Do I have to answer that? Uh, you do have to answer it, uh, but whether or not he knows the answer is is up to you guys. Okay, if so do I sense. have to answer that like right now, or is that to be answered during the? No, answer it right now, and then that's going to kind of form uh, the frame of the scene, one of these scenes. Because I have the proof. Just straight up, I mean, she's a science character. She has the proof, it, empirical fucking proof. And that's her whole character. She's like, I've got the science, I've got the facts. Okay. Look at the paper. <laughs> right. So, so essentially, like you, you trust her because she's been able to convince you. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's more so to that's, her that's, than that's happened the exterior. In the past and and maybe you continue to do that. Okay. Um, then let's see who's next. Uh, Katie, you would ask. Let me let me get your characters' names. Alex. Um, Alice, you would be asking Belle a question. Oh, um, with my very fiery character, kind of probably would ask, why aren't you broadcasting more of the truth? Like, kind of like how he's broadcasting his truth, but why is he only sticking to that? Why are you not broadcasting wider? Like, why are you not broadcasting? So that's not a bad question, but it really should be more of a of an interpersonal question. Oh, interpersonal. Like, like, Why aren't you broadcasting my truth? 
Oh, that's a good one. Like, why aren't you? Why aren't you telling people what I say? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because, because I don't really understand it, and it doesn't completely jive with my understanding of it being aliens. It doesn't doesn't fully fit with that, and I'm not. I'm concerned that it somehow isn't. Uh, no, I I don't. I don't trust it yet, because I just don't understand it. Okay. You're not sure that you trust me because I see on their side. I, I trust you. I just, I don't really, I don't want to say this to you. And it's certainly nothing I would ever tell you to your face. Mm. But I would, I, I doubt your scientific claims because I don't understand them. And All I right. already have such a firm idea He's already got something of what's mind. really going on. <laughs> That you know, you think almost, almost in a dogmatic way, uh, what you have to reveal doesn't necessarily completely fit wow. as easily what I know to be the truth. That's beautiful. Exactly. I love how even within the group, there's still this sort of um, tension of belief. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Um, all right, and then Bell, you're going to ask Unity a question about your friendship. Okay, when my uncle passed away from the wages, uh, he was like my favorite uncle. He was really, really close. We were really close. He taught me a lot of the tech stuff that I knew. Um, my family distanced themselves from him as much as they could, as is proper. Uh, I, I was having a really, really hard time with it. And you were, why were you the one who stepped up to comfort me? Um, what, why did you risk um, the ostracism from your your upper circles to to comfort me about something that was obviously viewed by society as, as good and right? The bad thing that happened. Yeah. Well, um, see what what happened is that whenever somebody passes. They also go in and they clean out the house. And when they clean out the house, they find they found uh, some stuff on their floorboards, and, uh, lots of writing. And it was his journal. And in his journal, he talked about his uh, nephew, uh, who was really uh, just a, a stand-up, awesome person. And um, so I read through everything to learn about you, my new voyeuristic best friend. And. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and um, and then weird in our culture. Yeah, and then and then I had to have a uh, you, I had to be able to uh, find you and and tell you that um that he loved you like his only son. So you felt sorry for him? No, I thought just I wanted to make sure just, that he. This is the right thing he, to do. Mm-hmm. The right oh, thing but to my do. My uncle maybe had some stuff in his journal that inspired you. As a history buff. Yeah. Mm. Maybe. Mm. What do you think? Maybe. That, that's the kind of thing that can unfold in a scene. Yeah. So like let's let's hold right. on to that. And I think mm-hmm. we can work with that. Um then let's Unity, what are you gonna ask Strike? Um gosh. So uh, what was your inspiration for that? La- the 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 piece before you got sick when you, know, you had this like almost in- angelic scene of of people and, and light shining behind them and, and 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 I think I saw it. it was were you in it why it just looked so beautiful and so different from the the work that you normally or that you claim that you normally do I really liked it. So this so like, this piece inspired you yes. personally, right? So mm-hmm. like this this is maybe what drew you to him uh, in the first place. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, the answer for that would be I have. I want. I want to reach out. I want to. Um, or rather, like I have, I have so much inside. No, I don't know. Like, um, 
Yeah, something something along those lines. Like I I I want to come try, try to make see this what somehow you see. somehow um, means something to your relationship. So right. if it, if it can't if it can't be something about your relationship, then maybe the question needs to be slightly changed a bit. So maybe like, why did your angelic scene speak to me? Is that a more is maybe. that a more personal question? Maybe. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. I think it really has to do with like your art and like did. Hmm, let's see. I don't know. I don't know how we would fix that one. We got. So, unlike, unless you were the inspiration. And, yeah. And, or something like that. But oh. like, either way, like the, the, the question or the answer really needs to be, to be about deepening your relationship. No, I like that. Or giving, you, or giving like jump that. off points. Unity was my inspiration for the, for the wall. Okay. For the wall scene. All right, cool. You were my inspiration. All right, we can unpack that. Nice. Okay, so now that we've got our friendship questions and our authority figures for the session, um, Oz, you are going to start us off by choosing either one of those friendship questions or one of our authority figures. Okay, so the first scene, just to get an idea of what it's supposed to establish, is that it's kind of like, it's the kickoff for the, the whole episode, right? And then we need yes. to... Sorry, I lost my this page. Is gonna be, this is gonna be the scene that, that jostles you out of your reality uh, into into full-on, full-blown rebellion. Okay, well, for me, I think the obvious one is gonna be, let's have, let's have the authority, um, Let's do an authority figure, because I think we need to definitely already confront one, and I think it has. To, I think it should be the nurse. I think this is where yes. we have just, where we've been in isolation for weeks, and we've gotten to know each other pretty well, and now it's we see maybe we maybe we see an out or something. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna choose the authority figure is. Nurse Blanche, uh, Goody Blanche, uh, and describe for us, Oz, what's happening in the first five seconds as our scene opens. We are, so we're in this sterile room. Um, we're in, would we be in chains? No, we would, no. We would be, but we're definitely locked behind a door, and we've been locked away in quarantine. Still Except for cage. Alice, right? Because Alice is getting special treatment because because she's she didn't get it she didn't get it on purpose. What okay. what if the nurse walks in with Alice in tow? Maybe. Sure, I like that. So, okay. and for this brief all... moment, the door is open. Yes. Yeah, so the the door opens. the The three of you are in this sort of um, uh, like open open room, right? You have your own rooms, but for right now, you're in this kind of common room. Like uh, and the three of you, yeah, like a ward. Um, Bell and um, Unity and Strike are are sitting there at a table. Are you guys sitting together, or are you sitting apart? Um, together. I'd say we're yeah, together, but like maybe on on like bunk beds or like um, like beds that are next to each other. So we're all yeah. just kind of are, hanging. Yeah, out. yeah. Are there are there other kids in this ward, or is it just the three of you? It's just us. Uh, the other ones have died. Because the other ones yeah. have died. That's right. So it's just the three of you. The door opens, and um, Nurse Angelica comes in with Alice in tow. Um, Alice, what are you what are you doing there? Like, why why are you being brought in? Um, I'm being brought in because I was the recent one that was brought out of essentially the dying room. So basically, slammed together in a quarantine room with everybody else that's just put there to die because they were grand sinners, and somehow, somehow, after weeks of being kept in that room of death and decay, 
I was still alive. Even with the special treatment given to me, I was still alive. And now I'm just sitting here question questioning everything, knowing this isn't real, knowing this isn't some godsend cure, this is or some godsend disease. This is something that can be cured and I'm a survivor and there's something I can do about it. Yeah. Mm. And I think immediately apparent would be that your pure ID is above the threshold. Like it's above a one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. And and how are you able to tell her pure ID? It's just like, we have like AR. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> we I'd say we have kind of we have an overlay. <laughs> it just kind of like pops up. It pops up a little a little like infographic a... about her purity. Yeah, everyone or, gets or a like... retinal implant that allows them to receive oh. you know public broadcasts and. Oh. Uh, one of the most, more passive things it does is displays everyone's purity, uh, pure ID. Yeah, I was thinking something like maybe, or like, te you know, televisions or like maybe some scrolling, uh, you know, like a market process. ticker almost. Yeah. Kind of stock market ticker. Yeah. That'd be a lot okay. of people to keep track of. That's it true. kind of high tech for this progress. At, uh, <laughs> yeah, they don't, they don't like progress, civilization, they love their tech. though, actually. Uh, well, they love the tech that keeps us down. Yeah. yeah good point. They only allow progress where it benefits them. Maybe maybe you've got like this sort of old school like 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 bracelet or something like that. Either way. Oh, well, and I know Pure ID is oh, like designed the, technology broadcast from their mothership. That's yeah, let, okay. Let's, let's say let's <laughs> let, let's just go with the 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 eye implant, right? Everybody's got one, and you just this is a little overlay that shows you the uh, Pure ID. Uh, so you see this this woman uh, walk in. The the nurse walks in with a, a young girl, Alice in tow. Um, and have you seen her before? Is she new to you guys? Well, you're from the town. Uh, remember, you've comforted. No, oh, never mind. I'm getting my people mixed up here. I've come it's... to you before with information, and intel, yeah. curiosity, yeah. wondering if you can broadcast it. Yeah, because I mean, I know one of the conceits is we're all supposed to know each other already. So yeah. I want to say yes. Maybe we've seen her around the facility, but we've mm -hmm. never really gotten a good look at her. And some of us have, like have the talked, poster talked child for But we've purity. known you from before. Yeah. So like yeah. You're, you're, you've, you've, um, yeah. You've been, yeah, you've I been like you. that. Yeah, you've been like that, that princess or whatever, like that every, you know, like we know you, you is to you be know, like that exemplary been, figure that we're supposed to look up to. And yet you have, you're not. We know you that see, you're like, you have been the one that has been like in the news, like, oh, poor Alice. She's like, yeah, she's like, yeah. It's you just know those kids. Struck. Yeah, you know those kids <laughs> that you know are awful and shitty behind the scenes, but they're like teacher's pet all the time. Yeah. You're that. Yeah, yes. you're that. All right. <laughs> so, so the nurse comes in and, and she asks you all to sit down because she has something to tell you. And 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 so she she puts um, uh, Alice and she sits you down kind of near the rest of them and she herself takes a seat and she just gets this this such a sad uh, distressed look on her face and she says I am just so sorry to see you all like this in this state I just know that that the Lord is going to heal you He has saved you for a reason. And, and I just know that this is distressing your parents and distressing everyone. So I went out of my way and I think that that the Lord has given me the, the cure to making your condition stable. So I'm just gonna ask each one of you just to lay down and, and we're going to uh, we're going to administer um, God's healing serum right now. Oh. We're already healed, though. We literally are not bleeding from the eyes. Oh, honey, those red eyes. You'll never be able to fit into society. I, I, <laughs> I, I believe I've been, I've been doing some experiments, and I believe the Lord has told me um, what I need to do to, to heal you. So just lay back down, honey. Um, and, she, and she sort of, you know, she, she gives you time to, to do it on your own. But you I, know from the past that if you don't do what she says... She's going to uh, she's going to activate her little her little uh, shock buzzer, and she's going to start swinging away. I, I look over at uh, it's here uh, Alice, and I say, Alice, uh, does this uh, match with your any sort of? Have you heard of this serum before? Um, is this a scientific study that's known to you? 
I know. I don't. I haven't heard of a Lord Serum before. Oh, honey, you don't need to worry about that. Y'all just stop talking and just and just I take a. I just stand lay up. Down. I stand up. You, you stand, stand up. Stand up. All right, I she, stand up. All right, so so I'm gonna call for a struggle right now. And she, oh my god. She is is very adamant that you all lay down and and take your medicine. Uh, and so he, what what you stand up? What do you? Um, at this point, you're just gonna roll the dice. Yeah, I got to struggle and, first. And see what you get. Here you go. An eight. All right. What is that? An eight. All right. So let me. Oh, there you go. Oz took care of it for me. Great. All right. So you got you got an eight. Um, and what do you? Uh, what? Blah, 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 blah. I'm getting confused. What? Um, conviction are you going to use to to stand up against? I'm goody, stuck goody, goody Blanche. Blanche. I'm stuck between smart and outrage right now, but I think I'm gonna go with smart and saying there is no no oh, yeah. cure. Hold on, I I, I made a mistake. Before yes. we get before we get started, we're supposed no, to say that's right. what what I want to happen and then what you guys want to happen. Um, what I want to happen is um, uh, Goody Blanche will give you this serum um, that that will have some sort of maybe unknown um, effect on you. Kill us. I think I think our goal is to get the hell out of this place. Yeah. And you want no. and you just want to bail out of the entire place. Okay, so yeah, she get back to, into society. She wants to, yeah. to drug you with whatever she's got in there and you wanna escape um the the ward, the hot the hospital itself. The last time they tried um the this uh, um experiment, uh two of the people in our, our ward died and I don't mm. really wanna be the third. So um yeah, I'm leaving. All right. Yeah. So, uh, go ahead, Katie, and, and right. uh, say what conviction that you're using to stand up. I'm using my smart conviction to stand up. My knowledge that there is no fucking cure to whatever this is. That what is ever in that syringe is not good for us, and I am not fucking laying down and taking it. Whatever is in that syringe is probably more likely to kill me than fix me and anybody else in this room. Okay. Uh, she hears that. Everybody else believes you. Right, I mean, like you were obviously stirring everybody else up. Um, you put together uh, uh, the fact that this stuff might kill you, and, and you don't want that. Uh, but uh, Goody Blanche is not having this, and she sees it as uh, her doing the Lord's work, and so she's not having it. So she she just whips out her hand, and this kind of this this uh, shock baton extends, and she starts swinging it at you, and says, "Now listen, I don't want to do this." This is not what I what I want. I want you to to take your medicine in a godly fashion and redeem yourselves. Now I want you to lay down, and she starts kind of swinging it back and forth at you. <laughs> uh, and also, she starts hollering behind her, you know, for for uh, for the orderlies. So who's gonna stand up? You gotta is claim it? your numbers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm going to at this you scene. Seven, right? I get the seven. And I also uh, am going to choose, I believe, the three. Yeah. Yep, three. Yeah. All right. So who's standing up now? Oh. Uh. I'll do it. Okay. Go ahead and roll your dice. Okay. Four. I got... Okay, there we go. Good. All right. And what's your conviction? Um, I'm going bad. to use uh, fast. Okay. And describe to us how you use fast. I am going to, as she started putting the baton um, out, I am going to dive really quick for it. And as it's flicking backwards, I'm just going to keep moving her wrist backwards so it like twirls back out of her hand okay so this this kind of electric stun baton kind of flings out of her hand and you've yeah. got her you've got her kind of discombobulated you've got her like leaning back and off balance and the stun baton has has flicked over to the corner uh and everybody's kind of up in up in arms now like we're, we're like they were doing this right i guess this is happening um <laughs> and it's a, and it's about at this point that the door s swings open kind of violently and and two pretty large orderlies come in and they're blocking the door to to your escape and now i'm gonna take uh 12 with my orderlies 
And who's going to stand up? At this point, Bell looks over at at uh, Strike and just sort of like shares a look as if to say like, what, what do we do? But I, I look a bit confused. Okay. So are you are you rolling dice with your confusion? Well, I'm going to see if he's going to step up or... Oh, okay. oh you're, you're, you're inviting him to step up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sort of looking to him for some well, am, guidance. Yeah, well, I am the older kid, so You're yeah, like I'll stand You're like the bad up. one. You're the rabble rouser. Do something. <laughs> That's kind of like what we need right now. A, a ten. Follow- All right, so Oz got a ten. Oz, what conviction are you going to use to stand up? Uh, I will use. I guess I'll use thrills. Okay. So. I'm going, or wait, maybe bad. I think I'll go for bad. Um, so I, in the moment of confusion, I grab Angelica from behind, like, and I just hold her head like this, and I'm like, you come any closer, I will snap her fucking neck. Oh, my oh God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Whoa. All right. Um, so the the orderlies, um, they, they, they stop. Uh, and and you you've got you've got her neck and and um and they kind of move out of the way they're they're backing up because they don't want uh the, the death of of Goody Blanche on their conscience. She has been like some sort of mother to them, and so now they are backing up. But you notice that they're backing up towards the alarm button. Who's gonna stand up? All right, I'm gonna stand up. Okay. You have to claim a number. Uh, yes, I do need to claim a number. I believe I'm choosing two. Okay. Now I should pause right here up. because mm-hmm. uh, th- this this might not be immediately obvious to the players what's going on with the numbers. So basically, we're going to roll numbers back and forth. The players roll numbers, uh, and they get to put the, the 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 choice down on the on the chart here. Uh, the authority just chooses numbers that are already predetermined. Uh, so, for example, the first round, I would get seven and three. And then after that, I get I just go from the bottom up. Um, but the first time that the players roll uh, a number that's already been chosen, they win or lose based on which number they chose. So if they choose one that they've already rolled, they win. If they choose one I've already rolled, I win. Uh, and to otherwise. demonstrate the principle, I just rolled a three. Which we have a reroll. Uh, we have a reroll. Do you want to use it? Oh yes, yes. Let's spend the reroll. Did he give the reroll to you guys? Or he gave to it both to. A, I mean, like to both we of just, us. So yeah. I claim a six. Okay. I, I kind of look at and think about charging the guards and picture myself just getting knocked down and abused and destroyed. I'm like, just shake my head, like, no, I can't do that. Uh, pick so up the baton. I run over and I pick up the baton and I kind of press the button. I feel it zapping and. I, I look over at the guards and I says, you're not going to do this. And I point the baton at them. And unlike, it's normally just a hit you and zap kind of button, but I'm using my power, my conviction. Yes! Shocking burst. And I'm going to try to zap that alarm. I'm going to yes! disable the alarm. You, 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 you it's say, like you're a, not going to do that. And, and it, it zaps the alarm. Like, like electricity shoots out of this uh, baton. Uh, and strikes the alarm and kind of fries the electronics. Now, is that the first time that that's ever happened? Or, yes. or do you know that you have power? So, uh, no, so I had no idea I, I would do this. I just felt like I picked this up and I, I just knew what to do. Okay, so you just you just pointed this and electricity shoots out and you just think, oh my gosh, that was like, so that was so odd. Yeah, well, like uh, I was just uh, running up to grab it because it was a weapon, right? And I could use it, but I just felt this like connection to the electricity like i could control and direct and project it and i just i realized i knew what i could do and i just zapped the alarm and that just yeah. causes it to explode out and disable the alarm triggering system okay so the the orderlies go like what what kind of freak are you and they just they just run away they just they just take off so 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 what are you guys doing now well you just have to you have to counter right with something that the authority yep. does Oh, I'm gonna. Oh, oh now it's your turn. <laughs> gotcha. Um, well, then I, I say let's let's go, right? Like, so I'm just basically oh. holding Angelica, and I'm like, get moving, and I like knee oh. her in the back of. 
in the back. We don't want. We'll lock her in the room. No, we no, need we need her. a fucking hostage, man. Yeah. How the hell else are we supposed we to have, get out of here? We have no idea where we even are. Like how deep we are in this facility. And what if there's security codes to get us out? She's the only bitch that knows. Okay. Yeah, so you walk out of the door and you see the door shut behind you, behind the guys who ran away, and then you hear click, click, and they've locked the doors. So now there's there's no there's no way for you guys to escape. <laughs> and I'm going to claim now uh, 11. Ah. Oh no, it's on lockdown. Um. So who's gonna stand up? You I'm guys, gonna stand you guys are, up. Are physically barred. I'm gonna stand up. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Roll those dice. No whammies. Oh yes. Oh, yeah. Ten. Oh All right, no, so he has a reroll ten. though. Oh, no, that's I, good. I do have a reroll. I'm gonna use my reroll. You're no! gonna block us. <laughs> You're blocking it. No. <laughs> what did he? No. Fuck. Okay, so I gotta re-roll again? Yeah. Yes, yeah. re-roll. Oh, fuck, 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 No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. No! Yeah! All right. So, here's what's gonna happen. You guys are gonna be so trapped that um, <laughs> something bad's gonna happen <laughs> unless you sell out. Um. Oh. Get, I, I'm gonna use what fucking power I was gonna do anyways. I'm gonna sell out. I'm fucking outraged that they are keeping us trapped and I feel like this fucking fire burning through my fucking veins at how fucking angry I am that they dare lock me of all people in here. My anger is boiling at the fucking surface. I grab onto that fucking doorknob and I start reefing on it and suddenly heat just starts pouring through my hands as it melts from the fire that's starting to erupt from my fucking veins through my outrage. <laughs> so so you just you just can't believe the injustice of what's gonna happen here. Oh, I can't and believe you, the indignity you, that's happening against me. Fuck all these guys, I just the met them. And, Except and, for- and, and <laughs> Fire just, just shoots from your hands and just consumes the door. And, I'm and, just fucking and angry. And this door just ignites on fire and creates a way for you guys to escape. The orderlies have bolted. They are, they are scared to death. <laughs> And the way is clear. Once you once you've burned down the door, you guys have a clear shot outside the hospital. Holy fuck! You like, are what's strong going on here. What the right? shit? Uh, so so something terrible happened. Like what did you do with your powers that the made orderlies, everybody else? The orderlies ah. on the other side of the door were fortunate or unfortunate victims, and they're burning alive right now. As oh my god. So, so as you guys go through the door, you see that uh, that Alice has has literally burnt these guys alive in order to facilitate no your escape. No fucking care for casualties. Just oh fucking burn it. And that's that that's How that's, that's rocked that? some of you guys. And so they're just you. So oh, and, so I'm you... and I'm hoping the rest of the room that we were trapped in starts to catch fire along with everything else. Like no fucking yeah, care for yeah. any casualty. Just it burn like, it all. It seems like like and maybe unless something's done. Uh, the hospital itself might go up in flames, and so you guys, you guys have to have to either choose to stick around and do something, or or just get out of the hospital. Here's your choice. Here's your chance. Get out of the hospital. Just the end of the scene, or just put up for the next one. No, this is. I mean, you guys. This is pretty much it. You guys have escaped. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, you guys we're are getting out no uh, matter what. Get the hell out, because that's our hope. Getting our hope was out. to escape. Yeah, yeah so. that's that's your hope. That was what you. That was yeah. what you wanted. So. Um, Holy. Yeah, shit. I'm gonna. I'm going to um, <laughs> see if I can't trigger the uh, the sprinkler system for the hospital on the way out. Okay. Because of all the stuff that's burning. I and... thought you like shocked the system though, the alarm system. Doesn't no, that? I shocked the alarm. You can shock it back. Yeah. Okay. We don't. We don't want everybody in the whole hospital to die. That's fine. I, we don't. We don't so turn I'll, that I'll kind of movie. He's an optimist. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we are R, so I don't know. He's an optimist. Uh, so, so you guys, you guys get out, and and that's it. That's that's where the scene ends. With uh, you know now that the authority is trying to actively kill you, um, or at least maybe the representatives of it. Um, did you leave the nurse back in there? Is she is she um, is she hurt or yeah, is she? Uh, I feel no. like I feel like if anything, I we well we would dump. Do, 
we don't want to. How about we zap along, her with the stun baton outside? Yeah. Like yeah. The you escape spot. and then you just zap her and then uh, run off. What into do we the do with her? I know. And all right. <laughs> Actually, no, I'll hand the baton to who? Who seems like they want to zap nurse? Uh, Obviously, goodie. Alice. Nurse Angelica. Well, who, who really wants to? Who really wants to give it to her? Who wants to zap her? All right. Oh no, not me. I'd say it should be Alice because of the wrathful thing. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um, and and I didn't sell out. Well, yeah. You know what? Outrage is fine to sell out. That's fine. All right. I was okay. going All for right. the the mo as a sell out, but okay. Well, uh, I'll, I'll hand it to you, almost as if like. Uh, the outrage, yeah, no, absolutely kind of outrage. I will take that baton and I'll stick it in her stomach <laughs> more times. So now you're, you're wrathful now. You oh, I'm totally fucking wrathful, and just All for right. good measure, I'll hit her with the fucking blunt end of it and make sure her lights are out. Jeez. So, oh. we're going to, uh, <laughs> I think she's already the, uh, uh, disabled. Ugh. So, uh, the next thing we're going to do is, you know, you guys are on the run now. Um, the next scene doesn't have to take place right after it could take place any amount of time afterwards uh but katie you're going to choose either an authority figure or a friendship question to frame this next scene um for authority figures let's go with the deacons because we're on the run and we burnt the fucking hospital down or well i burnt the fucking hospital down um yeah the deacons are now hunting us because they want to keep us under wraps so they, they've noticed that you haven't been in church. <laughs> yes, they noticed that we haven't been in church and that we have fled the hospital because, I mean, that would be the only excuse, I would think, for us not going to church, right? Well, wait, well, like, where did we go after we ran away, though? Maybe, oh, uh, you know what, maybe we should frame it as parents as we're trying to go back to somebody's family, like, hide out. Yeah. Well, it's up to you. So you tell us what's happening. You've, you've already chosen the authority you know figure. You tell us what's happening in the first five seconds. Okay, so, so let's say... Before let's you do, say, remember we have to introduce a beat. There has to be something that causes a twist in the narrative. So either a catastrophe, mm -hmm. a complication, a discovery, or a reversal. I mean, the end of the scene kind of was a complication. <laughs> yeah, but now in um, this scene, something gets introduced to further... All right, so then further screw us up, we learned that there is a higher authority than the Deacon. Something kind of like um, a high threat response. The beat will come out as the story unfolds. Okay. We don't have to, okay. have to choose that at the beginning. Gotcha. Alright, alright, alright. Um, so then, yeah, parents. So let's just say we've made the decision on the fly that uh, we're trying to flee back to my parents' place. Because I'm the one that's the goody two-shoes and the figurehead. I'm like, this is bullshit. I never should have been fucking captured. Come all back to my place. We'll get this fucking figured out. Out of out of the weather. Out of sight. Out of line. Okay. So are the 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 families the authority figure, or are we choosing deacons still? Um. Let's Ooh. go with families for now because my parents are pretty much assuming I'm a person non grata because I was infected and I was basically sent to the hospital to die. But here I am, showing up, red eyes, and still alive. Okay, so as the scene opens, you have uh, taken everybody back to your parents' house. And yes. you you ring the doorbell, right? Yep, ring the doorbell, hoping that my parents will accept me back with open arms. Like, obviously, at this point, I, I, I don't see the red eyes. I haven't seen a mirror in that they've kept me there. I'm assuming that I'm supposed to be dead. I notice everybody else is looking haggard, but I'm assuming I'm still the perfect visage, the perfect, like, <laughs> angel, the perfect fucking figurehead. And my parents will accept me back with welcoming arms and just bring us in. All right, so you roll, uh, you uh, ring the doorbell, and um, expecting to have your parents uh, answer and, and, and welcome you back with open arms, but instead you um, you get somebody who says, "Who is it?" It's like, they don't Alice. open the door; they just they just yell, "Who is it?" Alice. Alice, uh, open up. Um. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. And 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 the kind of you hear this kind of chains unlocking and and the door opens, and somebody peeks in and says, "Oh my God, Alice, what are you doing here?" And it's your dad, and and he says he he stands there, not opening the door. He just looks at you. He's like, "What are you, what are you doing here?" I'm I'm alive. That's what I'm doing here. I'm fine. Like I, it, it. But you're supposed you to be you're supposed to be dead. 
Well, clearly this whole thing is just what it is. I'm alive, I'm here, I'm breathing and talking. Do not see me. It's uh, me, your daughter. Uh, yeah, I, uh, uh, why don't, why don't you come in? I, dang, I, I brought a few friends, they're harmless, just, they're, they're with me, uh, yes, yes, of course, uh, uh, they can come in as too. Uh, come Thank on, come you. on in. We'll Thanks make you enough. some, uh, 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 tea. You, uh, do you still like tea? Yes, I haven't changed, I, I'm fine, it's me, your daughter, like, why is this so fucking weird? Uh, like, so you, you, you come into the house, and you see your mom, and she's standing in the kitchen, and she's, her hands are shaking as she's making tea. Mom, got, like, it's me. eyes going around over here. They're just, they're just here. really, they're all freaked out. Like, they, they look at you, they don't, there's something I, I going don't, on, there's something weird. I don't, I don't understand, what the fuck, what, why, why are you guys treating me like I'm a ghost? I survived this. Isn't, isn't that like some sign for, for you? Like, but, I'm, I'm alive. But you have the tears of unity. The, no, I don't. Those were those stopped after a week. I'm fine. I'm alive. They, yeah, none of us they, do. They, they say, look in the mirror. And you all know that you all do, but... <laughs> I look in the mirror and I start to freak and I go and I run to the sink and I grab a washcloth and I run it under some water and I start to like furiously scrub at my eyes like, no, this isn't real. What is this? What is this? This, this, when, hey, there's... Hey, I, I, I come sort of running up. Be careful. Be careful with your eyes. That's... They've been like that ever since. All of ours have. We just what happened? We didn't have the heart to tell you. Uh, we just. But, I hoped you knew. I'm. But I'm not. I'm. We're, we're okay. We made it. But we have these. Think of them like scars. I. Uh, how did How did you even get this? You're not supposed to. You're not below a one on the pure ID. I. I don't know. I, I one day I was fine, and the next day I was not, and then next I was thrown in with basically the sick and dying room. I mean, look at me, I'm still... And she holds up, like, her little notification, like, her little tag, showing that her purity standing, for some reason, is still relatively well within society. I, I don't understand. Mom, Dad, what, what happened? Did, did... Why? Why? Can I, can I suggest something for the uh, beat? Sure. Uh, feel free to use it or not, but uh, the idea of discovery, the discovery being that the church, uh, when this happens and someone does recover from it, it's been rare, but it's been known, and the church uses the people with powers that they can to help its own aims. Mm. Um, her parents, being trusted, had planned on sort of getting her into this program, but... Um, the rest of us aren't necessarily welcome. Okay, I like this. I can I can use this. So uh, basically, the, the enemy church has superheroes of their own, so to speak. The um, your parents say, do do you know what day it is? No, I've 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 been kept locked in a fucking box, expecting to die. It's and I'm coming back to you, my parents, and you're and you're treating me like I'm a fucking monster. Well, well, it's not that. It's just that. It's Sunday, and and we've got to go to church now. Sunday? N you know now? what happens if we don't. <sighs> we've got to go do our confession. And they both look at each other like... Mom. I said that? Dad, no. <laughs> Mom, Dad, no, please. We're sorry. I'm your, we've, we've I'm got your to, daughter! We've got to go. and, Alice, and we need to both, get out of here. They both sort of walk out <laughs> and... and I'm your daughter! And I'm going to call for a struggle now, because okay. what they want is to confess that that you have escaped and, and went to their house. What do you guys want to have happen here? Um, We want to not be found, right? I guess, I, I guess I'll, I'll reform mine. Not that they confess it, but that, that you are found out uh, and, and tracked by by the authorities. Um, well, I think that, like, we definitely don't want the authorities to find out where we're at. Well, I think, I think that's a fairly passive one. Like, we would get or, that if we win anyway. Yeah. We some other um, stakes beyond that, like, maybe so, so, they're rich, maybe so... Oh, sorry, Oz has something. Go. No, wait, Cassie, I have one, too. Oh, okay. no, you go first, you go first. You look okay. more excited. What if, what if the, the hope is to convert her parents? 
to our side. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's the okay. kind of where I was going. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, so they, they sort of uh, nudge you guys out of the way and are headed out the door. I'm gonna step. Up, I'm gonna stand up here. Okay. And I'm gonna take a six, and I'm gonna call upon my optimism. I know that she's asked me to report her signs before, and I've been skeptical of her, but. But no, I'm optimistic that she she really knows deep down what's really going on. Even though the scary stuff that happened at the hospital, that was just, you know, none of us knew what was going on. My own powers felt unpredictable. Um, I'm optimistic that, that she has it within her, the ability to convey the truth to her parents. So I'm going to stop and say, stop, wait, listen to your daughter. She's smart. She loves you. She knows... She knows what's going on. She's seen the other side of it. Look, understand. There's there's no cure for this, right? But how did we survive? Think about it. Trust your daughter in the processes that she has learned from you. Or must so, have picked up somehow. Uh, so Alice's mother, um, her name is... What is her name, Alice? Mandy. Mandy. Um, Mandy is listening she she really uh is being moved by your words um and she says oh alice i know that you're good i know that that your pure idea has always been high i i told them that this wasn't right uh but unfortunately uh her husband is is not having it and he basically grabs her by the arm and just yanks her uh along and she through through years of living under that kind of situation just falls back in line and is now being dragged by her husband uh, towards the church. So I'm going to claim seven and eleven. Oh, I'm going to stand up and try to appeal to my father. Okay. Claim the eight. Nice. Um, I'm gonna use smart. I'm gonna try okay. to appeal to my father's logical side and say, Dad, you know, you know that me getting this was no coincidence. That 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 it was an accident, it was happenstance. I'm here, I'm fine, I'm still your Alice. Like this isn't this isn't this isn't unity doing this to me. This is this is this is this is chance fate. I'm not different than your daughter than I was three weeks ago. You can't Fucking send me back there to die. I'm your daughter. Oh, when you Please. use that language, you remind me that sometimes you're not as perfect as you as you say you are. But but I can't argue with your pure ID. Let me see it one more time. And and he asks you to hold up your. And then I'll just, hold up oh, my. Oh, you know that I, you know that I love you, but but we must. We still have to make confession, or or you. But know it doesn't what have do. to be about us. You can confess about the Joneses next door. It doesn't have to be us this time. Please, just give us a week. It's not. Please, Dad, if you have any love in your heart for me, please just give us something. And 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 it seems like your dad is is about to uh, is about to change his mind, but then he sees uh, he sees the Joneses from next door. And they're walking towards church, and all of a sudden he 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 snaps too, and the Joneses say, "Hey, aren't you? I thought you were dead, Alice." And then all of a sudden he, both of them sort of get this, <gasps> this overwhelming shame, and they go, "Oh, uh, yes, we 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 don't know who this person is," and and uh uh uh. And they all of a sudden get like a, a weird, a weird vibe, and they and they start they start rushing to church again. And I'm <laughs> I'm gonna claim uh, the Joneses now are are holding you up, saying like, who who are you? Why do you look so much like Alice? And I'm gonna claim um, number twelve. Uh, don't you claim two? Because you're already on the eleven. Uh, am I on the eleven? Oh yes, yeah. sorry, two. Shit. So now the Joneses are are hassling uh, Alice, um, and the rest of you are not not sure what to do because because um, Alice's three boss would be nice. 
Yeah, we, uh, we uh, actually we do Palmer. Have a spin boss. Yeah, Palmer got us. Palmer got the click a reroll. Oh, nice, oh, Palmer! You're so our thank hero. You, Palmer. Good so job. You will save Palmer. our ass, I'm sure. <laughs> and I don't um, have to burn down the Joneses. <laughs> um, we'll see about that. Uh, I think burning down the Joneses might be a perk, actually. Who's gonna stand up? <laughs> I'll stand. I'll stand up. Okay. Cassie wants to stand up. I'll do it. You you, you called it first. I'll... I did. Uh, a four. Okay. All right. Um, so I'm gonna use the. Uh, I can use my disorder, right? But I just can't sell it out until yeah, the end, okay. right? Okay. Yeah. Because yeah, I know that I'm not gonna be able to sell it out yet now. So um, my shit starter. I'm gonna use my shit starter, and I'm gonna say, <laughs> and I'm gonna go. Listen. Jones, everyone knows about your affair. Oh, snap! <laughs> and and Jones uh, uh, recoils from this. We won't uh, tell if you don't tell. And Jones, but I swear Jones, to God, if you uh, find if we find out that someone comes because of you, they're gonna know. They will find and, out. And and Mrs. Jones' husband looks at him and and, and uh, looks at what did I say? Mrs. Jones' husband looks at her and says, uh, uh, how could you, honey? I, I always suspected. And, and she says, well, uh, I, I, uh, no, it's not like that. I, 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 uh, he was only, uh, and Jones, Mr. Jones says, who was he? What do you mean? And, and you, and now they are completely distracted, uh, and, and they did, they're not caring about you whatsoever. Um, but now there's about, um, a block's worth of ground between you and um, uh, Alice's parents. And it seems as if uh, the pastor is coming out to greet the flock as they're walking up the stairs. Uh, so you're claiming the 12th? Uh, yes, I'll claim the 12th. Okay, I'll stand up. Okay. Mm. Ah! Palmer, All right, I'm going to claim that reroll from Palmer and hopefully I don't fuck it up. Is that Ooh. okay, guys? Yeah, let's oh, do yeah. it. Oh, wow. Cool. All right. Yeah, because she got a seven. Uh, shit. Yeah, so no whammies. Eleven. No! 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 <laughs> All right. God demands a sacrifice. Yeah, I guess that's no. it. No! Sell out. Or are you just going to take it? Are you just going to take the fact that they... Well, let, me, let me ask you a question before we go any further. Because what happens when we fail? Um, there, there's a complication. Um, you, you lose this particular round, and and something bad can happen to you guys. So, okay. is it necessarily completely negative that we lose the scene? I mean, obviously, it will remember, absolutely the, be completely negative. Yeah, because the authority's goal is to find us. So, if we lose, right. we are found. Uh, I think it's more fun to have them find us, so I think you should just like stay true to yourself, and the authority is going to do what the authority is going to do. But guys, if we win, we convert. What does the chat say? <laughs> should she sell out or should let sell? the authority win this round? Yeah, if, chat. Should she sell out or do they all get caught? Yeah, because if you sell out, we convert her parents, and maybe they're able yeah. to like deflect the deacon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they'll be able to just play the game. We'll be able to. Uh... We'll give the chat oh. just a minute to to weigh in here. Hmm. First play. But yeah, um, like keep in mind. I mean, like they all have five different um, convictions that that they have that that haven't been sold out. Up. Only them up. only Katie has sold out one. Yep. Oh, yep. Because there the was... must pay the price this time if the price will be paid. Yeah. Alright, terrible don't sell pun sends. It would be interesting to see how failure works. If Benzi <laughs> says don't sell out. I think the general advice is don't sell out. Okay, so um do you guys want to risk so, it? Do we wanna risk you, the Do we wanna risk it for the biscuit? I think if you do that, we give essentially Opti narrative control as the authority over what happens at the end of this scene. Yeah, instead of yeah, us. I'm gonna to burn down us. another building is what's gonna fucking happen. <laughs> to find us? Again. Finding us but, would suck. 
converting her parents would be awesome because we have a place to hide for a week. Yeah, I think them finding us seems more likely to the story than them. No, yeah, th- than uh, the, her parents uh, turning over to our side at this point. So, I don't know. Yeah, I... Palmer, they can sell out any of their convictions except um, the disorder. Except their disorder, which which was technically the last one that they would be able to sell out. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Palmer. If I sell out the orphan, like that's kind of like the, you know what? I'm gonna Pity sell out the orphan. I'm gonna do it. Oh. Ah, okay. Yeah. Oh, so, so instead, you go to uh, you're gonna do helpless. Yeah. So, so explain to us um, what you what you're <sighs> doing, um, how how you're using a loss of agency. Uh, and, and being subject to the whims of those more powerful. Um, okay. Oh, Avenzi just gave Thanks, a, bunch Avenzi. Of, a bunch of stuff. Thanks, man. It's not going to change what's going <laughs> to happen. I know, I know. Cassie's going to need a puppy to hug. That's what's going to fucking happen yeah. here. So we, we had discussed how uh, if you give up your orphan status, then um, then it's you're going to be you're going to out yourself as, as who your parents are. And uh, you're gonna you're gonna lean on them instead of your own and own agency, right? So, yeah. Explain how that happens. So, um, I am going to like you. Know, I see that like he's strike is causing a scene, but they're still walking. They're not paying attention, and so and and like I've already lost my parents, and I don't want I don't want Alice to lose hers too. And so I I run up I run up to them. And I run right, I like run right in front of them, and I stop and I say, like, you guys can't do that! You can't bend! My parents! My parents! The me! And I don't know! It's like my name's Steve! And, 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 and Susie! They, um, <laughs> they go, Austin. oh, you're, you're Steve and Susie's kid! Oh my goodness! We we know you, and and, and, they, and they're such good people. How could they have had? Well, well, if 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 you're so good, uh, you know, if, if they were such good people, and and you came from them, then maybe maybe we've been wrong about this this whole thing. And, uh, and, and you know they, what? And they abandoned you, me, and I don't. <laughs> oh, it's it's okay. Know. It's okay. We. I'm gonna step up at this moment. We'll remembering. Remembering when she comforted me, I'm gonna I'm gonna move up to her and kind of gingerly put my arm around her. Some a bit self conscious because she's like a girl and I'm a teenage boy, right? But <laughs> I can tell that like this this kind of transcends that weird awkwardness, and she just needs somebody to. You you might have lost a, your other family, and I'm 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 sorry I can't do anything about that, but. You once told me, uh, you you once gave me hope when when things were when things were bad, and you, you've got us, and and she's got her parents, and we, it, it's gonna be okay. Okay. Alice's parents. You're such a good uh, friend. Whisper to you all. Okay, just just um, uh, head 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 uh, across the building and, and head through these hedges, and then when once everybody's in church, just. Head back to the house, and we'll meet you there. We'll, we'll confess. Uh, we'll confess Jones's infidelity. That you, oh, great! Thank you. That's that's that works perfectly. We'll, we'll <laughs> confess the the Joneses affair, and uh, and and we'll meet you back at the house um, in two hours. Thank you, Mom. You did. Yeah. I, Thank you. Strike goes up to Unity as well, and uh, and this is this is exactly why. She was his inspiration for this. Like she's so, she's so innocent, man. Pure, <laughs> the actual pure, which this country seems to have lost. Yeah. Yeah. Which so. makes makes you all wonder, like, what what she did to lose her pure ID, right? Because she does seem to be like the perfect, the perfect uh, poster child. All right, so that's that's where that scene ends. Um, you you have you have snuck into the bushes um, 
while while uh, Alice's parents go into church to confess the Joneses' infidelity. <laughs> and, uh, the uh, next scene is is going to be uh, before before we do question. It is eleven fifty six. Do you want to go for? A, does everybody want to go for a further scene and lengthen this, or do we want to stick to our twelve o'clock ending? Uh, I'm at work in the morning, and I've got to be up like at like a good place to stop. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, I think two scenes was good. I think oh, yeah, this has been um, really really fun. Yeah, Rich, what do you think? What do you think? Do you love this game as much as we do? Uh, the mechanic of selling out uh, convictions uh, I really love because it drives home that um, sometimes in life, you know, if you want to get what you want, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to make some hard choices. And I don't think any other game that I've ever played really drives that home as much as this one. Yeah, so you made me cry, you asshole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I was like, oh, you got Katie right in the feels, man. <laughs> it hits too close to I'm, home, okay? <laughs> I missed that. When, when was the crying? When was the Katie crying? When While... she was sitting back, like, trying to plead to Alice's parents. I'm just like, oh, my goodness. oh I'm actually going to cry here. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. I was oh. just crying. You <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Good, good, good. Uh, All right. Well, really I guess we're gonna too. we're gonna end there, uh, everybody. This was so much fun. Thank you for joining us, both in our world and character building, and also in our uh, first two scenes. Uh, uh, I, oh, I have something else before we go. Before we go, this is the the what we were supposed to talk about the uh, the turning point, right? The, the 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 beat. So here's what happens. You get home to uh, 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 Alice's parents' house. And they unveil the fact that they were contacted by the religious authorities to enroll Alice in the program for those who survive the wages of sin. Uh, those who survive are clearly chosen to redeem themselves by serving the, uh, uh, the unity of all because it seems as if they get special powers um, when they survive the Lord's judgment. And so they were hoping to uh, use them to recruit Alice into the cause to to use as the Lord's wrath, which is a special group of people that um, that the unity of all uses to punish non-believers. So the Lord's wrath wanted to wanted to bring um, Alice into the ranks, um, and now you kind of get the idea that that not only a can you expect maybe some other of you to have powers. But also that there is this sort of secret group of, of powered uh, religious thugs out there that you might have to contend with in the future. And it kind of makes sense for her to have like such strong like po fire powers like right out of the gate too. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, now like, we're going to have to do all one chosen. more thing. One more thing before we go, we're going to have to ask a question. What is the question that we want to have answered? when the when this session ends so by the scene seven which will be next time uh what question do we want to have answered can we do x will this happen this is a yes or no question can this we make like, it cure will will the death star get blown up right that's the kind of question we're talking about can we make the cure uh, are we the would cure we even know would we even know oh the are, we the, are we the cure are we the cure there we go well um Alice is super smart. She seems to think we that that there is a cure somewhere. So, so I'll maybe can 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 those survivors can survivors provide the cure for other yeah. people infected? Yeah, that, that works. Because yeah, if right. our group gets wiped out, then we can at least pass on the hope to other survivors. Yeah. 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 All right, there it is, folks. That is the Shadowcasters Network presents. Misspent Youth uh, by Robert Bowl. Uh, Robert had to go, but we were glad to have him in the chat, and he uh, made it clear that he was going to show up next time we do this as well. So two weeks from now, uh, same bat time, same bat channel, we will run some more Misspent Youth for everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, real quick, before everybody goes, um, just a quick plug. If you all are into um, watching people play role-playing games this Wednesday, we will be playing our... Uh, Pathfinder 2.0 playtest. Uh, so we'll be over on my channel, which I will post over here. Go over, 
give it a follow so you know when we start. We're starting at 6.30 Eastern. We run for four hours. We're going to be doing our next, uh, let's see, In the Pale Mountain's Shadow is the name of it. We'll be playing fourth level characters, and it's going to be great. Come over and nice. see, stop by. And yeah, I, I joined you for the first level one. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. I will also plug uh, Join the Anarchy. It's going to be next Monday. So if you are here and you're like, oh, I like watching this RPG things on Monday nights, check out uh, the one that I run, which is a Shadowrun Anarchy game, cyberpunk, uh, super narrative, chat gets all kinds of input. And uh, it's, been, it's been really, really fun. Lots of high tension drama. Bring back Jackbox. There's some more high tension drama there between <laughs> me and Palmer. Looking at you, Palmer. There you go. Check out the uh, Arcology podcast and the Neo Anarchist podcast for all of your Shadowrun needs. Yeah, and we'll be dropping check an out... episode about Kill Code soon. Nice. And, uh, Opti's on. Yay, Kill Code. Nice. And uh, and and since we're just uh, giving digital strokes to everybody, uh, we'll say that Katie's <laughs> husband also has something cool to do <laughs> with uh, with stuffer shacking. All right, yeah. that's it, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you back here in two weeks. Bye. Bye, Bye everyone. <laughs>